we're a few months away from the upcoming Madden game, so it's about that time of year where we start talking about what we can expect in the game, and right now, so far, we actually have a decent bit of info about the upcoming game. Now, usually this time of year, we don't know too much about the upcoming game. We start finding out a little more as we get into April, May, and especially June, but this year, there's definitely been some reports from EA and some other leaks that have come out, so we actually know a decent little amount about the upcoming game, and we're going to talk about that in today's video and let you know everything that we do know to get you up to date. And if you're new to the channel, and you don't want to miss out on any of these upcoming updates for the next Madden game or the updates for the NCAA college football game that's also dropping soon, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any important videos when they drop. I'm trying to get to 600k subs before the next Madden comes out and if everybody watching just subscribed, we could hit that number in literally a few days. Now we do expect the upcoming Madden game to be called Madden 25, although some people are wondering if that's not going to be the case simply because there is a previous Madden 25 game. Back for Madden 14, instead of calling it Madden 14 they actually called it Madden 25 because it was the 25th anniversary of the game but typically that's not the case usually we go year by year so we had Madden 20 Madden 21 22 23 24 so the next Madden game realistically should be called Madden 25 and as far as we know there are no plans to change the name of the game or switch it up I think we're just going to get another Madden 25 but you never know they may decide to change it but as of right now from all the digging and research I've done it doesn't sound like that's the case so what all do we know about Madden 25? Well, one of the big things that we found out a while back via the Insider Gaining publication from their sources inside EA is that they said that Superstar Mode is going to be one of the biggest focuses going forward. Now, what was said a few months back when referring to Madden 24, they said that inside EA, they were pleased with the additions of Superstar Mode and the mini games that returned this year. And they said that they were pleased with where the game has been heading lately with all of the additions they've been slowly bringing back to franchise mode to build it up and make it better to the additions of superstar mode and minicamp and things like that and they went on to say that they want superstar mode to be a major focus going forward it's a major point of emphasis for them which makes sense because it is the mode in the game that is lacking by far the most franchise mode used to be pretty behind as well and let's be real franchise mode definitely still has some more things that need to be done but if you compare franchise mode now to where it was four or five years ago it's a world of difference they've actually added a lot of stuff back that people wanted they've even added some new things nothing's perfect we know it has its issues but they have actually added a lot of things back with mini camp and the new scouting system the assistant coaches the skill trees and a bunch of stuff like that so it's a lot better than it was and they're going to still continue building that out we know franchise is still going to also be a focus but when you look at superstar mode the career mode that mode has been behind for a long time we had face of the franchise which wasn't too great and then now they finally brought the superstar mode back this year which is a little bit better than face of the franchise but let's be honest when you compare it to the other franchise modes and other sports games it's lacking in a big way and they know that they need to build that out so this year we got the first iteration of superstar mode finally being back and over the next i would say three years you're going to see them focus heavy on that that's really all the reports we've heard and i think going into madden 25 you're going to see a pretty significant jump for that mode so if you are a career mode type of player that's definitely something to be excited about now before we continue with the video i do want to shout out today's video sponsor underdog fantasy if you like sports and you like trying to win money then you need to be on underdog fantasy playing their pick em game for any game for any sport they're going to have a wide variety of player stats and all you simply have to do is pick higher or lower and if they hit you can win some big money but the best part about underdog fantasy that i love is for new users they always give you a free play right at sign up and with the super bowl coming up there's going to be a ton of specials coming over the next week and right now they already have the patrick mahomes special for the actual super bowl game where all he has to do is pass for one yard and that's it you win and on top of all of that underdog fantasy is also going to be giving away one million dollars in underdog credit on super bowl sunday all you need is a verified underdog account and you're liable to get some free money to play with and with the million dollars in giveaways they're going to try to spread that around to as many people as possible but the best part is they also will double your first deposit up to hundred dollars if you sign up using my promo code ray ray so if you deposit a hundred you get an additional free hundred to play with and you can't beat that Again, make sure to get in before the Super Bowl because there's going to be a ton of specials and ways to win money that you do not want to miss out on. Now, the next thing we know about Madden 25 just leaked during the Pro Bowl, actually, and this one's a bit interesting. So it appears that we could be getting tattoos coming to Madden 25 in a bigger way than they are now. As you know, only a couple players have their tattoos in the game, guys like Mike Evans, Odell Beckham Jr. And I think there's a couple other guys that have some minor tattoos, but most of the players don't have their tattoos and we cannot put them on custom players like we used to be able to do back in the day. Now, during the Pro Bowl, Tristan Wirfs of the Bucks was doing an interview and he actually has an EA tattoo 
on him, funny enough, the EA logo. And during the interview, he said that he went to get his body scanned with EA and that his tattoos were going to be in the game. But what's interesting here is he specifically said that he got his body scanned. And to my knowledge, that's not something that EA really did a whole lot of recently. Usually it's just face scans and hair scans, but they haven't really been scanning actual bodies, which would be a good thing going forward because we get more accurate body types. But also we can now start getting players that have their actual tattoos in the game, which just adds to the player likeness. And if that's the case, we could also be getting tattoos for our custom players. Now they have been saying for the past five years, literally that tattoos is something they want to get back in the game. And it's not a matter of if it's going to come back, but when it's going to come back, they have a pretty good art director that they hired a few years ago. And I know he wants to get tattoos back in the game, both on the active players and custom tattoos. So maybe we could be seeing that for Madden 25. This is not a hundred percent confirmed, but Tristan Wirfs did confirm that his tattoos will be in the game. So if they're scanning his body and he's just an offensive lineman, right? He's not a super big name player in terms of being like a wide receiver or running back, a defensive back or a big name guys like QBs, right? Not to say that he's not a great player. I mean, obviously he's one of the best tackles in the league. He's a pro bowler, but if they're putting a tackles tattoos in the game, you would think they're also doing this for the bigger name players as well. And since EA themselves have said that they want to get tattoos back in the game in a big way, it looks like we could maybe be seeing that for Madden 25. I'm with EA Sports and we're scanning everybody in that truck back there. Just to put you guys in game. You guys got 60 seconds. Hey, you ready to go? I'll go back. I'll go back if he goes back. Yeah, let's go. On, let's go. Over. Right. It takes a minute. When did like the body scan? My tattoos will be in the game. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Whole body too. Now, the next thing we know about Madden 25 is actually one of the more interesting ones to me. Now, we were just talking about Superstar Mode, and in that same report that came out a while back, it also mentioned that EA was looking into possible changes on the development team. As you know, going into Madden 24, the report was that they viewed the game as a make or break game internally, and they said that it wasn't going to be based just on sales. They didn't care how good the game sold in terms of if they considered the game a success or not. Now, they were pleased with the game and the additions that were made and the fact that they didn't have any really major game breaking bugs like we saw in the past couple of years like when people lost all of their franchises and stuff like that we were able to avoid a lot of that this year so they viewed that as a success but they said that there were still some nagging things in there that they felt should have been cleaned up that weren't and they said that they are looking into potential changes on the dev team and that anything is on the table. What they specifically said was that they were kind of happy with how well received Superstar Mode and the mini games were, but they said continued issues from past installments have still plagued the game, and that's led to meetings at EA about what exactly should they be doing for the future of the franchise. They said from bugs in the draft classes to freezes at the menu screen, it seems that there's some simple quality of life issues that still remain prevalent in the game and they're not really happy about that. And they said the team sees the effort that was put in this year, but there are still a number of small mistakes that should have been addressed that seemingly weren't. It's oversights like that that make some think it might be time for a change or two. So that means for Madden 25, we're likely going to see some type of change on the development team. Now, does that mean that they're just going to bring in a whole new team? No. Does that mean some of the people at the top are going to be let go? Not necessarily, but but they may shake up some spots. They may just bring more people on, which I think is a good thing. It's always good when you can get new people on the development team because you need new ideas. You need new blood when you're working on something like a video game, especially one that's been around as long as Madden. You need to mix it up. You need to get some different ideas, some different thinkers in the building because all that can do is lead to you trying new things, to you implementing different things, to making the game better. And that's not to say that everything you try or every idea is going to land or be good, but it's definitely good to have people in there that can mix things up and offer a different perspective and we do know that EA has been more open to bringing people in we know with their college football game they've actually brought multiple people who worked on the college football revamped mod because it was so good they brought them into the building to help them work on the game so we know they're kind of more open to that so we could be seeing some more community involvement but also just a shake up or two on the dev team to try to push the game forward which can only be a good thing for us. Now, the next big thing we know about Madden 25, we learned about a month ago, and to me, this is one of the bigger things we've found out yet, and it's something that people have complained about for a very long time. We're getting new announcers for Madden 25, according to Charles Davis, who is one of the current announcers. As many of you know, Charles Davis and Braden Gordon have been the announcers for, I would say, getting close to maybe about eight, nine years at this point. They've been in the game for a while, and they haven't done a shakeup. Well, Charles Davis was on a podcast recently, and I don't know if he was supposed to reveal this 
bonus info or not, I'm going to assume he wasn't. Usually EA doesn't like things getting out about the game this early. They like to kind of put it out when they're good and ready to put it out, which is understandable. But Charles Davis kind of dropped a little bit of info that maybe he wasn't supposed to drop when they were talking about the announcers in Madden. And he said that this year they're actually bringing new announcers in and there's going to be multiple announced crews so people can pick which announced crews they want. And potentially for franchise mode, you may have different announced crews for different primetime games. And if that's happening, you know, maybe they're even going to go the extra mile and finally add some of those networks in some of that branding like ESPN or Fox or something. Now that's not guaranteed. The only thing that we know are new announcers, but if they're going to the point of getting new announcers, you know, who knows what else they're potentially going to be doing to go along with that. But the fact that we should be getting new announcers and multiple announced crews will be a big shakeup for the game. It's not something we've really seen with Madden. They usually just stick with one announced crew and they stick with them for quite a while, which they've done. But Charles Davis, unless he's misinformed, but he works on the game as one of the lead announcers. He said that they are bringing new announcers in to have multiple announced crews for the upcoming game, which is going to be music to a lot of people's ears because that is a shakeup that we have been needing for quite a long time. Now, they're going to expand, Garrett. I think you've, I don't know if you've seen it, heard it yet. There are going to be multiple announced teams going forward. That is So that gives you opportunity to change up who you're listening to that's crazy i think at this point a lot of people would say if i hear davis's voice one more time i'm going to do something that's going to get me in trouble another big thing we know about the upcoming madden game is that we're going to get that ncaa crossover which we have not had in about 10 years and i missed that i know a lot of people missed that we know with the college football game coming out this summer about a month before madden releases we're going to finally have that ncaa crossover once again and we know just from some of the things that ea has said that the dynasty mode and road to glory career mode are the two biggest areas of focus for that game and if you remember back in the day one of the biggest things with those modes is how they crossed over to the madden game seamlessly so in dynasty mode you can take your draft classes exactly as they performed in ncaa with the current ratings and all of that and bring that over to madden for your franchise mode and even the bigger one was road to glory you could start in high school go through college finish your career and then when it's time to go to the draft you can port that character over to madden and then use him in superstar mode and i've been saying for years that superstar mode was going to return in madden which it finally did this year because if they're bringing the college game back they couldn't really continue to do face of the franchise in madden the way that they had been they had to kind of bring it back to superstar mode because if you're bringing the college game back that is one of the few things that you absolutely have to get right is being able to take your career mode guy from college over to nfl and it has to seamlessly work so they had to bring back the old superstar mode and again that's why as we talked about earlier in the video that it's one of their main focuses going forward because now that the college game's coming back they've got to get superstar mode up to speed and they've got to do it pretty fast because if the college game has a better career mode than madden does and you're bringing your guy from college over to now nfl and you feel like you're getting a worse experience or you're getting a worse career mode that has less options going from the college game to the nfl game that's not really going to be good you want it how it was back in the day where it felt like when you went over to the nfl you weren't missing anything you were only furthering the career you already had you don't want to feel like you have less options so that's a big reason why they're focusing on superstar mode but having that ncaa crossover finally coming back is just going to be huge for football gaming in general because we just have not had that in 10 plus years now if you want to know a little bit more about the announced crew leak that we got a little while ago make sure to check out this video right here on the screen